What's going on everyone? Welcome back to our Philadelphia Eagles franchise mode and we are in week number seven against the Arizona Cardinals and we've been rather inconsistent uh, this year. We started off really, really good. Um, uh, offense, defense was was fucking phenomenal. And I, I don't know what it is. Last week against the Saints, not the Saints, against the, uh, where's my schedule? There's my schedule. Uh, last week against the Seahawks, we just couldn't get anything. We couldn't get anything done. It was literally a zero-zero game through like three things. It it was it was really it, a really weird week for us. I'm hoping that we can bounce it back um, from that. But I don't, I don't know, man. Jalen Hurts, man, you gotta you gotta bounce back strong. And these were the two weeks that we were supposed to have a strong running game. Now we did switch to the rookie running back, but I don't know. I, I really don't know what's going on with this team. And I do have bad bad news as well. I've been trying to get a long term extension with those two players, and they have both decided that they are just not interested in signing with me. And neither of them. Grant Delpit, who we we went in and uh, acquired through a trade, he said no. Jordan Brooks, he's saying no. I might franchise tag Jordan Brooks. Grant Delpit, we might let go, though. We might be able to find a better safety. Maybe we can find a better outside linebacker, too. But <sighs> neither of them interested in signing with me. So... That's okay. Devin Duvernay likes everything but the salary, so next week I'm going to be increasing his salary. I need, I want Devin Duvernay here. He is our slot receiver, and yeah, he's, he's going to be our slot receiver. I want him as my slot receiver, so he will be our slot receiver. All right, so let's jump on into, oh no, not jump into week number seven. I forgot to completely do the weekly strategy. That would have been horrific against them. Um, they're saying the deep ball. They still do have uh, D Hop. So they still got D Hop. So let's see. <sighs> Bad corals the QB script. <laughs> uh, um, I'm not gonna do. I don't know. Uh. Kyler Murray can run, too. I'm going to do defend short. We're going to do defend short against them. And on D on offense, I got Chandler Jones or Buda Baker. We're going to work on the blitz counter. I'm going to do blitz counter against them. All right, so that, that'll be our goal. Uh, recover three or more fumbles. We can do that in a week. I don't know if it will happen. Why is my punter here instead? Who's missing? Tyree Hurts, Hamilton, Stogner. Oh, fuck. What, why are you here? Who got hurt? It's got to be somebody got hurt. I just can't remember. Who it is right now? Whatever. We're gonna do Ali Gay then. Uh, start the training. Right, some somebody got hurt. So who got hurt? It's not you. And I know I didn't have my punter as the, the guy I wanted to to work on. Interesting. Oh, well. Oh, well. Kyle Hamilton's going to get an upgrade. Zach Ertz. Haven't seen much of him. Uh, Darius Phillips and Christian Harris. All right. Let's just upgrade you all. Go take a look at the roster again. It's going to be okay, Tyree. You're going to be just fine. Stogner's still there. Duvernay Spear. 
Where's Daniels? Defensively. Okay. Fletcher Cox. Williams still. Oh, Gay over Gregory. Uh, 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 uh. Maddox. Sean Nelson's down. Harris is down. We're still going with Grant Delphi. He's our best safety. Okay. Alright. Alright. Not much else we can really do, so... Jump into week number seven and get this dub, boys. Let's do it. Been doing it all season. Let's do it some more. Alright. Here we go. Here we go. We are on the road. Our team seems to last week, uh, last year, we did really bad at home for some reason and really good on the road. It seems like it's kind of been opposite this season. If we're at home, our team plays really good, has a lot of confidence, a lot of moxie. And when we're on the road, I mean, we still play good. It's just not as good, and it's kind of it's kind of frustrating a little bit. Just a little bit. Uh, who's gonna do it? Stogner still hasn't had his first touchdown. Tyree still hasn't had his first touchdown either, rushing or receiving. Yeah, the rookies, man, really have not been doing too much on offense. I mean. Tyree has been getting us that yardage, which is good. Um, but he, he hasn't been able to get into that red zone. That's kind of been the been Snell's job. I guess that's okay. He, he, he know your role on a team. You help win a Super Bowl. That's all that matters. Jalen Hurts, rather inconsistent, but he is he still plays pretty good. He knows how to escape some pockets. He keeps plays alive. You know, he's going to have bad games like last week against Seattle. Seattle is the number one team in the entire league, and we kept them shut out all the way up until the end and only lost by a touchdown. It was 10-3. to 3. That's not that bad. It's not bad at all. All right, so we're going to be starting this one kicking it away. That's fine. Jump forward at the game. Okay, we're going to start this one kicking it away. Yeah, it, it does suck. It does kind of suck there. Now comes Kyler Murray, nine touchdowns, five interceptions, 1,403 passing yards. I did look at Hertz. Hertz moved up on the passing yardage. He's now 31st, not 32nd. So, good for him. All right, so first and 10 on their 25. Let's see what Arizona's going to be doing on their first drive. Going intermediate to Hopkins, caught at the 34 nine yard reception. All right, all right, pump fake, trying to get through the line. We're chasing him, he's trying to escape, throwing on the run deep, and intercepted. Let's go, 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 go. Let's fucking go. I see veins and navel. Interception, we get the pressure, force Kyler Murray to have to throw it deep, pick him off. And out trots now Jalen Hurts, 1,117 passing yards, eight touchdowns, five interceptions. Mo really all five of those interceptions have only come in our losses. So when when we throw interceptions, it usually leads to us losing, which pretty common sense in, in sports. The more turnovers you have, the more likely you are, you are to lose. Sideline catch, Terry McLaurin tiptoeing on the sideline for the first down, moving the ball up to the 37. Boy, Terry. Like how J uh, Jalen Hurst has been getting Terry McClure in the ball a little bit more. All right. Who said down on the 37? Quick throw, almost intercepted. He tried to go to Terry McLaurin again. Mm. So we, our quarterback, Jalen Hurts, is immune to pressure right now. He escapes, throwing on the run deep to the end zone. To Terry McLaurin again. It was in his sucks oh shit throw it off our back foot going end zone again and we overthrow him so now we're going to be kicking a 54 55 yard field goal all right jake elliott's kick 
No good. Well, that was a waste. We should have just fucking punted the ball. God damn it. We do not make the smartest decisions when it comes to kicking. Like, Jake Elliott has not made a 50-plus yard field goal all season. Why are we still trying to allow this man to kick that far away? It's obviously not working. Just punt the ball away. It's fine. Stop giving the team the ball back at halfway. All right. So we're running again. So third and seven on that stop. Good. Come on. Get that pressure throwing short, wide open. First down, Arizona. And off to Connor, he finds nothing. Fumble, loose ball, and we don't get it. Every time, I swear to God, I swear ever since that Miami game, we force fumbles, and the other team always re-recovers that ball every single time without fail. And it's, it's always someone who has no business really getting that ball. We have three eagles there, and no one's going to do it. Oh, the blitz. Throwing it short. Intercepted. Pick six. Pick six. Run. Williams, though, getting the interception. That's two interceptions today. Dude, our team usually doesn't pick the ball off. We're, we're mostly, like, just swatters. Like, when you really go back and look at it, like, we've had a ton of opportunities to pick, but it always just hits our hands and bounces off. So first and 10 now. On our 37, going for the screen pass. We get it off. Uh, again, I don't know what it is. Like, computers are scared to take it wide. I don't know why. They always try to rush it, like, back up the middle of the field. Just take it wide. You got room. Play action. Running on out. And there goes Hertz sliding down at the 48. So we're now on the Cardinal side of the field again. He's getting some nice movement out of us on the second possession. Hand off to Tyree, rushing it forward up three yards. So this season on 47 rushes, he's got 200 yards. Still no touchdowns, though. That's okay. He's a rookie. He's got to learn. He's got to learn. So second and seven on the 45. Hurts. Drops back. Rolling out of the pocket. Getting chased by Watt. Throwing on the run. And he finds Devontae Smith for the first down. I'm telling you. This team's great. This team's great. I put together a phenomenal team. And if superstars don't want to re-sign with us and win more Super Bowls, then we will find replacements. We are the going to be the New England Patriots of this era. It, it, it's just going to happen. We are going to win Super Bowl after Super Bowl, and Jalen Hurts is going to be the new Tom Brady. It, it's as simple as that. So first and 10 now on Arizona's 28. Hurts stepping back, rolls out of the pocket, throwing on the run, and he overthrows Terry McLaurin. He definitely could have had time to set his feet or even rush it out a little bit more, be a little bit more patient. So second and 10 now. We're going to do a play action rollout. Hurts trying to find something. Going back of the end zone and hits off the hands of a cardinal, receive, uh, cardinal corner as an incomplete pass. So third and 10 now on the 28. Come on, Hurts. Trying to throw it underneath, swatted away by J.J. Watt. And now we're going to have to settle for a 45-yard field goal. So a little bit closer for Elliott. This is more his range. Kick up, and it's good. There we go. So we get the first points of the game. Sucks that it's a field goal. That's twice, though, that we got inside there on their side of the field. We're not able to really do anything. We're winning the turnover battle so far. We've got a fumble and two interceptions, which is really good. The Washington football team lost. So that's going to give us an edge this week. If we can beat the Cardinals, it's going to allow us to go up by two games. 
Kyler Murray so far, two for four and two interceptions. Come on. Kyler Murray still trying to pass it though. It's showing that they do have confidence and they find uh, DeAndre Hopkins wide puck open. All right. Yep, deep too. He was wide open, deep. Like if he could have set his feet, he would have scored a touchdown on one play. First and 10 again. This time they're gonna throw it out to James Conner who gets leveled at the 46. I believe that's no gain. Oh, they're gonna say one yard gain on that pickup. So second and nine now. Gonna be a handoff to Connor, running up the middle, and breaks off Kyle Hamilton. We do not see that that often. Kyle Hamilton getting trucked over. So first and ten now on our 32. Arizona starting to cruise. Handoff to Connor. We get a little bit of support loss of two. Here comes the boom. I see one. I see one. Nice, nice. Second and 12 on the 34, two seconds left. And they're gonna take it into the second half. So the score is three to nothing at the end of the first quarter. Should be 14, nothing. Should be. <sighs> so second and 12 now on our 34. What are we gonna be able to do? Get some pressure throwing as he got hit. And Connor tackled down at the 28 yard line. It's gonna make it third and seven now. I got two running backs back, probably for blocking. One's gonna block. Oh no, both of them are moving. Nope, nope, they went for a screen pass to Connor. Hits off the helmet of their lineman. They're gonna to have to settle for another, well, they're gonna settle for a 45 yard field goal as well. So Elliott made this earlier, will they? Yes, they will. So the Cardinals have tied it up three apiece to start this second quarter. And all right, we're we're going to be uh, we're going to be looking. We're going to be looking to uh, extend our lead here. Here we go on the return. Not going anywhere. We're only able to get it up to the 19-yard line. Come on, dude. Cowboys won their second game, this time against the Jets. Hurts rolling out of the pocket. He's going to run. He's scrambling to the 30 and down at the 36-yard line. So he's averaging like 11.5 uh, yards per rush so far. Good. Good. First and 10 now. And off to Tyree, but there is no blockers. None. None there. I literally, as soon as he got the ball, there was fucking four Cardinals already past our O-line. So second and 11. Hurts, quick throw out, caught by Dallas Goddard, moving it up four yards. So it's now a third and six. Hurts looking to pick it up in the air. Come on, Hurts. He's rolling out, trying to escape, and he does, and he's moving his legs. First down. Able to move it up now to the 48. Still on our side of the field, though. But you know, not that far off, not that far off. <clears throat> okay. That boy Hurts, he, he extends plays. He knows when to roll out of the pocket. He feels pressure. First and 10 on the 48, Hurts, come on. Quick throw out, trying to hit Raheem Mostert, but that one swatted away. Four for 11, dude. Our completion percentage is not good right now. So second and 10 on the 48, Hurts. Throws on the curl route, finds Devontae Smith first down, moving it up to Arizona's 41. So there's five minutes remaining here in the second quarter. Philly's got the ball, trying to take the lead. Trying to take the lead back, Hurts. Moving his legs again, moving it up two yards. If he would have just booked it outside instead of sliding there. 
he needs that guy to block for him. Hurts. Throwing underneath. This one's to Terry McLaurin. He's going to be a mark about a yard short of the first down marker. Come on. Are we? Don't run it. Don't run it. I don't think running's going to work. I think they're blitzing. Play action. Hurts. Hurts. What the fuck, dude? You ran into him. You know, it's not every day you do that, but you did it. Oh, no. 55-yard field goal attempt again. Elliott. Kick up. Off the post. Oh, my God. I'm going to cut him. I might have to cut him. Trying to do a little trickery here with Arizona. They're at least able to get up to the line with Reynolds. Second and 10 now. 2.30 on the clock. Kyler Murray over to James Conner for the first down. Hitting it up to our 45. So with the new set of downs, let's see what he's going to be able to do. We need our defense to step up. And we get to the two-minute warning. So they weren't able to get that playoff. So first and 10. We broke their line, chasing Murray, throwing on the run to his tight end sideline, four yard gain there. Actually, they're gonna say a three yard gain. So second and seven. Murray, quick throw underneath, first down. Boys, I know you guys are better than this. Come on. We literally have two interceptions. If we lose this game, it's so sad. I mean, DeAndre Hopkins trucks forward, moving up to the 21. Literally, our, our goal is short, which is 10 yards and under, and yet every pass has been short and has gone for almost a first down. Oh, my God. First time out used by the Cardinals. Uh, so with a minute left here in the second quarter, Arizona possibly going to take the lead with their first and goal. Back of the end zone. Oh, would you look at it. You know who doesn't get quarterbacks like that to turn their back to their receivers? Our team. We literally had, like, we got to see Terry McLaurin go up against us four times. And every time they would throw a Hail Mary, he's in like triple coverage, and he would come down with it. And now that he's on our team, he he can't come up with anything. It hits his hands and it falls. Like, that that's bullshit. It's just bullshit. So going into the half, Arizona looks like they might have the lead unless Jalen Hurts can pull some shit out of his hat, or out of his ass, really. Take the knee, yep. We're gonna have 56 seconds and three timeouts. We can't play short, because even though I said let's play short in this scheme, for whatever reason, we're fucking trying to throw it all the way down the field for an immediate touchdown. Throw the ball, overthrows it. Are you serious? Wide open, wide open. You know who would have made that pass? Any computer quarterback against us. Come on, Hurts. Hurts. Hurts, dude, you play better than this. Oh my god, Arizona's gonna get the ball back and fucking kick a field goal. I already fucking know it. I'm not doing that. I'm sorry, I gotta do this. I'm jumping in as Hurts and we're going for it on fourth down. Alright. I'm gonna I think I'm gonna go to Stogner. There you fucking go. Here you go, Hertz. Get some fucking momentum.
since you guys want to fucking screw me over and say that we're going to kick 55-yard field goals that Jake Elliott can never fucking make. Hurts finding McLaurin. Does he get the first down? No. All right, all right. I don't even care if we kick, like, score a touchdown. I just kick a fucking field goal. Kick a field goal. Do it. I don't really care. So 25 seconds now. Hurts. In the pocket, just settling. Oh my god. 18 seconds. 18 seconds. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, of course they recover the fumble. Of course they recover the fumble. Why wouldn't they recover the fumble? You know, it's not like we have fumbles. Oh, wait, we do have fumbles, and then we just can't recover them. Mm. Oh, who would have fucking thought? Wow. A team, the other team can fucking catch in triple coverage. They can fucking cover fumbles. Hell, we lead in so many turnovers. Like, we literally have more turnovers than anything. We, we don't we don't throw turnovers like that, but I mean like we literally picked off the Cardinals twice already and forced a fumble, and then they were like, no, oh, you know what? No, no, you know we're, we're gonna kick two fifty-five fucking yard field goals. Fucking stupid. We don't have that leg. Do not kick that fucking field goal. If I see it, I'm coming in. I'm punting. All right. If it fucking happens again, I'm punting. For you every fucking time because you're fucking retarded coach you're retarded here we go here we go all right so we're here we're at the uh, we're in the second half i don't i don't know why it skipped the uh the, the halftime report so we don't get to really take a look around the league my bad um but god i'm, I'm fuming all right, underneath pass to Devontae Smith. Good catch. Good catch. Second and two. Hurts. Hand off to Tyree. Do they just have our playbook? Whenever we run, they blitz. Whenever we pass, they're set. Do they just know everything? Third and three. Handoff runs right up the middle. Runs right up the middle. You know what? I'm jumping into this game. I'm playing this game. I can't. I can't take it anymore. Fucking hurts is is hurting my head, dude. Uh, this whole team is kind of hurting my head right now. I'm sorry. We we don't play a lot. We really don't. We don't ever ever play, but. Let's just see how fucking good this defense actually is. holes for you. Uh. 
right. There you go. The they always have a I, I have a wide open receiver every time. Literally every passing play, I had a wide open receiver. I, I really don't get it. So does Hertz just like stand there and just is like, I see you, but my programming's telling me the Cardinals need to win, so I'm not going to throw it. Like, is that just how it works? I, I don't know. I, I really don't know. I had I had my one drive, whatever. I had my one drive. Tied the game back up. Fuck you. <sighs> All right. So on the 16, swatted away. Good defense, Williams. Good defense. Second and ten now. Murray having to escape the pocket, running on up. Throwing, lobbing, open receiver. Not, not even open. My guy would have dropped that. Terry McLaurin would have fucking dropped that. It's remarkable, like the catches that other teams can make. Run up the middle. Oh yeah. All right. Well, let's just pause this and just watch the computer literally not want to tackle. All right. Let's see. Yeah, let's see. So that's one missed guy right there. Let's see. You're running away. You're running away from him. Everyone else is kind of just watching. Let's see. Run. Okay, he curls. Shakes one. Shakes two. Oh, yep. Tackle your own guy. No one even tackled there. It was literally, like, just bodies. Like, it's ridiculous. It's That's fucking ridiculous. There's bodies there and no one's going for the tackle. They're just standing there watching. Underneath. Thank God. Another interception by Williams. Probably not going to fucking matter. Because, you know, Jalen Hurts and none of my receivers can catch, apparently. So that's, that's our third turnover. We're audibling. First and 10 on the 44, Hurts. Underneath, sick. Good good cut and move. First down, Devin Duvernay. Oh boy, oh boy. Motion the receiver, run by Tyree. Only gets a yard, Cross got hurt. Fuck. So Cross got hurt, I'm taking Tyree out for, uh... it's not letting me pause. Hear that? It, it literally is not letting me pause. I can't press anything. I, I can't press anything. Anything. Not even a timeout. Can't take a timeout. Can't press anything. Thanks. Thanks, game. Thanks. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Yep. Can't even press that substitution button. There we go. Yep. Thank you. Um, I will be playing this next one because you fuckers just fucked me to push me back. Five yards. Thanks. Appreciate it. Wow. 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 Thanks, I really appreciate it. What a what a great guy. What a great game. So I put Moster in and I fixed the the glitch. So I exited and put me back at the second and eight instead of uh, second and thirteen. So that helped fix that little bullshit thing. And then we put in Moster as our starting running back and put Tyree back as the backup and third down back. So Hertz drops. Rolls out, throwing. See? what? What's that? See? Hits our hands and then just drops. But you know who doesn't do that? Any other teams, receivers, or running backs who catch or tight ends? Third and eight. Don't kick this fucking field goal. Kick, punt it. You're going to punt, right? Oh, no. They were going to have Jake Elliott come out for a fucking 61-yard field goal. 
Yeah. No. No. It's not happening. It's not happening. I will punch every fucking time for you. You are not kicking farther than 45 yards. It's not happening. He does not have the fucking leg. You have already tried it twice this game, and he hasn't even come close. No. It's not happening. There it is. Hit on the run. Pick six. Let's go. Let's fucking go. Oh, fuck. That's four interceptions in this game by our defense. Literally, it's all defense. Sean Murphy bunting, getting that pick six right there. Hit on the release. Yep. I thought he was going to get that off because it was the D-hop. Extra point. Up and good. Way to go, buddy. Way to go. Good defense. So Elliot kicking it up and away, going back into their end zone. They're going to take a knee. They're going to get it back at the 25. So they got a minute 15 left in the third. Let's see what they're going to be able to do. Tyler Murray already has four interceptions today. But also a one passing touchdown. Motioning their receiver inward. Going down and he. Sacked back at the 11, Josh Sweat. There we go. There we go. Oh, I hit exit. I didn't mean to exit. Our defense is good. We know that. Just not with the deep ball, I guess. Hand off to James Conner. Brought down at the 13. We'll make it third and 22. So third and 22, 20 seconds left in the third. Murray gonna look to pass for it. Four verticals. What happened? What happened that that fat fuck got so open? What the fuck happened? What happened? <clears throat> okay, boom, boom. Look, you got man to man. What happened? What the fuck happened? You got you? Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going, Delpit? Mr. I want more money. Oh my god, he's gone. Oh, I'm making changes this week. Oh, I'm trading so many fucking players. I've had enough. I'm trading. We're making moves, boys. We're making fucking moves this week. Week number seven. You guys are going to find out next week and week number eight what those moves are. But we're making fucking moves. We are making fucking moves. And Delpit's going to be the first fucker gone. He didn't want to resign a he didn't want to resign a contract because he wanted more money, and he's trying to play like that. Yeah, fuck off. It's not happening. You want to fuck? You want more money? You don't make plays like that. You don't allow hail mary passes to get by you every fucking time. DK Metcalf did it to you. DeAndre Hopkins did it to you. That just fucking happened. Kyler Murray trying to run it. And he throws it out of bounds. Smart play instead of trying to instead of taking the hit. So second and goal on the two. Still looking to pass in the air. Oh, doing a little QB keep. Not going to happen though. We broke through the line. Brought down at the five yard line for a three yard loss. Bobby Wagner on the tackle. So third and goal. Five yards to go. Murray. Pressured and brought down at the 14 by Fletcher Cox. 
Going to bring up fourth and goal. Cardinals are going to be kicking a field goal. It's going to be a 31-yarder. Kick is up and good. So it's still a one-score game. Still a one-score game. The Cardinals would have to kick a field, uh, not kick a field, but but score a touchdown to win uh, to win this game. So we just gotta play smart. Gotta play smart. Just kill clock. Kill the clock. First and ten. Hurts. Settling. Throwing. Caught by Devonte Smith. Brought down at the 47. Chancellor Jones going to get hurt. It's going to take him out for at least one play. First and ten now on the 47. Hurts. Steps away from the pocket. Throwing on the run. And I don't know what happened. Goddard literally turned his back to Hurts before he even had the ball. Hurts again, looking for the screen. Connects on the screen, and he's he's moving. Eight-yard gain, seven-yard gain. Moving up to Arizona's 45, third and two. Five minutes left on the clock. Going to be a handoff. This one's the Snell. He's going to pick up the five yards. Blake Snell has honestly been one of our best running backs so far. He really has. First and 10 on there, 41. Again, we're just killing clock at this point. Hand off, Raheem Mostert. Up the middle, getting it up to the 36. That's going to be a five yard rush by Mostert. Second and five. Hurts. Throws and connects to Stoggart, the rookie. I haven't seen him involved in forever. He picks up the first down. Hurts actually threw it to Stoggart. So first and 10. Gonna be another handoff to Moster, pushing forward, moving up to the 27. Yeah, Fletcher Cox, you, you, you saved us from a touchdown. You saved us from a touchdown, forced that field goal. You should be celebrating. Second and six now on the 26. Hurts. Throwing, sideline. McLaurin catching it, trying to break some ankles. And he gets it up to the 18. Cross. Hurt again. I thought I substituted him out. But apparently he got back in. And he got re-injured. This time he is going... Into the locker room. This is not looking good for the young lineman. So now on the 18. Hurts motioning McLaurin inward. And he hands it off to McLaurin. Not able to get any yards though. As it looks like the Cardinals were ready for the trickery. Strip balls on aggressive. First and 10 on the 18. We're still just chewing clock. This will be the last play before the two minute morning. Raheem Mostert, not able to get any yardage. Gonna force a third and 10. But like I said, that was gonna be the last play before the two minute warning, and it is. So there's the two minute. We're gonna kick a field goal, making it again just a touchdown game, but the Cardinals have, will have three timeouts. We could convert here, Let's see what happens. 10 yards ago, Hurts throwing, caught. It's too short. Not even a fucking yard again, dude. Are you serious? Three plays. Three plays. No yards. It's ridiculous. Three plays for no yards. And one of them was a fucking reception. Oh my god. That's just. Oh, that's, that's bad. That's bad. All right, we get to stop them back on their 13, so they really got to go all the way down this field. What what do we have? Offensive play art is the story for home team. Okay, so they got shook. Shook. So first and 10 on the 13. They're going to have to pass deep. He's getting pressured, hit as he threw it. James Conner still makes the catch and pushes it positive yards up to the 17. 
Second and six. Going to James Conner again. He's tackled inbounds this time at the 24. They're doing a hurry up offense. They got a minute 20 remaining. Ah, get the sack. Going short and tackled inbounds. There you go. They're going to waste a timeout. Minute left. Play action. Pressure, sideline, almost intercepted again. This one was swatted away by the corner. Cardinals might, you know, sigh, sigh of, of uh, relief there maybe. Stops the clock. 55 seconds. Off his back foot, and Hopkins catches it. Oh my God, thank God he didn't catch it. I thought Hopkins caught that shit. I was about to be pissed. So fourth and two on the 33. Handoff to Connor. Connor gets the first down. So that's what they wanted. They still got two timeouts. 30 seconds though. Throws caught by Hopkins. Moving it up to their 44. So with 30 seconds left, they're on their 44. They still got more than half of the field to go. They go short to 82. Not gonna, oh, nope, there's the timeout. So the Cardinals have used their final timeout. I think it's gonna be Hail Mary time. See what happens here, so first and 10. Right through. They're lobbing it. And, oh my God, he almost fucking caught that shit. 12 seconds now. Break through, break through, break through, break through, break through. He's heaving it. End zone. Swatted away. Good defense, good defense. This is going to be the last play of the game. This is going to be the last play of the game. Come on. Murray. Rolling, throwing. End zone. No good swatted away. Good, no PIs either. No PIs either. So this was a fuck fest of a game. We we played in it. I fucking saw some shitty shit. Fucking so much so much went wrong. There will be a lot of changes between this week and next week. Um This one was just really unenjoyable to me. Uh just, I can't like, sitting two games back to back like that where like you don't score you you literally lose ten to three and then you have to come in here and watch your wide receivers drop everything and watch them catch everything and watch your corners blow coverages. It's just I can't I couldn't do it anymore. I'm sorry I jumped in. I'm not going to do it. The remaining of the year. This was my one pass. I fucking did it. Sorry. I will be punting, though, if they try to kick another fucking 60-yard field goal. I swear to fucking God. There's only time I want to see a 60-yard field goal is at the end of a fucking quarter or it's fucking fourth down and we have no other choice but to fucking kick that goddamn 60-yard field goal in the fourth to win that game. Okay? There's, like, no time on the clock in the fourth quarter, and you have to kick that six-yarder to win it, you fucking try, all right? I understand then. No other fucking time. Never fucking again. Never fucking again.